Hello everybody, really quick 5 minute Bitcoin technical analysis update for you all here of why I decided to reopen a short last night on Bitcoin. So as you're all aware from my previous videos, I originally had a short open from 7400 which I closed at 6400 for a nice profit. And then as mentioned in my video yesterday, I was waiting on a nice short setup because after we did have our move down, so bearish, very bearish move down here, where we broke through, for me, all the bullish supports. And as all those bullish supports were broken, I was looking at this chart very bearishly and was just waiting for a nice setup to reopen a short. So last night at 12 o'clock here, um, I opened another short position and I'm going to be going through why I opened this short which is now sitting in a nice profit after we have had our move down. So I'm going to explain why I opened this short for you now. So originally in yesterday's video I was looking at this Fibonacci retracement. So obviously this is out of view. We were looking at this and how I was saying I would have loved <laughs> this would have been like a, a perfect short opportunity if we had had a bull flag up here and hit the 50% level and then move down and that would have been the perfect short but as you all know you can't always get the perfect setups like that so what i was looking at now we had our move down and we got a double top here so double top is bearish and we had a double top getting rejected at the 23 uh, fibonacci level that is a very bearish rejection so obviously here we were getting rejected which is uh, a bearish signal i opened up my trade around here on this candle this candle here, obviously, this is at the uh, more or less 12 o'clock. I have my trade at more or less 12 o'clock. So this is where I'm opening it up. So why did I open it up? Let's zoom in here. The reason why I was opening up this short is because, as you all know, I was playing this very bearishly. Uh, I am still expecting another leg down here, which is why I've still got the short open, as I am expecting 6,000 to be tested. But I am going to be going through that in a minute. Um, so why I opened the short, as you can see here, the A exponential moving average was acting as very, very strong resistance. So when I'm opening up my short here, I'm seeing on the four hour, we are wicking onto this A exponential moving average several times. So that was the first reason I was just seeing, wow, we cannot even break the eight exponential moving average. That is very, very bearish. Um, so what I done was I opened, entered a short here on the um, of on the touch here of the 8 exponential moving average with a stop above the 12 exponential moving average um with the obviously into a short position with my buying there with my stops above the 12 exponential moving average and i'm planning to be playing this down to around the 6000 region so as you can see i was risking one percent for a, hopefully i'll be getting a six percent gain i will have a stop loss set here in profit so i'll be locking in profits either way but i'm hoping to see another leg down here on bitcoin so another reason why i opened up this short uh, obviously getting just rejected off the ex a exponential moving average isn't a great idea but i I'm, I'm going to show you here another great setup so obviously this is back in now looking in july where we had our move down from 8000 8500 ish if you can see here we're zooming in here on the chart and you see here on the four hour where we had here a from 8100 to 7400 a very big move down and as you can see here where we had our rally we're trying to rally up forming a bear flag uh, moving upwards and we can see here how are we how strong this 8 and 12 exponential moving average are we could not break over the 8 or 12 exponential moving average we have another move down and again you see here where we try and break over the 8 and 12 exponential move average we can't exponential moving average we can't and we have another move down so that is a very similar scenario to what we were seeing here where we had our big move down and then we try and again to break over the 8 this time we couldn't even get over the eight so that for me was just so bearish couldn't even break over the eight exponential moving average so that why that's for, why for me why i opened up into this short position with my stops just above the 12 exponential moving average and as you can see that has now worked out very well currently sitting in around more or less seven hundred dollars of profit in what in about the uh, 24 hours more or less so that was a great short position and now i am playing going to be playing this down to the 6000 region with stops uh stop loss in profit and if i just show you this on the daily what i'm looking at here so if i just hide these moving averages so as we all are aware we have our very nice uh triangle pattern forming here well we'll be playing this down hopefully to get a touch of the bottom support where i'd expect a bounce or we are going to shoot through this support 
we'll see how a, a bounce goes i would expect a bounce though to be honest um but i what i am noticing here is if we take our trend line and put on our magnet from the very bottom here where we had a bottom of 5700 we could actually sub draw a nice support line let's uh, make that green for support and if you, you see here where we're getting a touch little bit of a wick above but here we're getting another touch so i'll be keeping my eye on a move down to see if we touch off this trend line or if we bounce down and touch the bottom support or if we just break through the support i am personally i am expecting a bounce off of one of these two supports but um yeah just so you're aware i am expecting the move down here i'm not expecting a, a move up from here i would expect another move down before we get a bounce off of these either one of the lower support levels um so yeah that was the reasoning behind opening this short i'm going to keep it and i will be adding a stop loss now in profits just to see how this plays out um so i hope that this video was helpful for you of what my reasoning behind opening that short and um and yeah any questions about it let me know um happy trading stay have a brilliant sunday tomorrow and i will see you in a in my next video which i'm very much hoping is going to be this lesson on elliott waves uh, where i'll be going over how to understand fully elliott waves so stay tuned for that thank you very much and see you bye cheers